Good afternoon, everybody. Um, well, I haven't made a video in a little while, um, but with the uh, um, NFL draft uh, round one beginning tonight, I figured this was as good as time as any to, uh, to, to make a new post here. Um, my New York Jets. The pick is going to be Zach Wilson. Um, it's all but a lock. Of course, you never know until that name is officially called, but... Um, I mean, there have been reports saying he's asked, you know, Pennington, Mark Sanchez, Josh McCown about what it's like to play in New York City and in that market with the with the fan base. And it, it, the writing seems to be on the wall that it's Zach Wilson. I mean, there's always that slim chance it could be Justin Fields. Um, but we got to assume at this point, barring anything shocking, that the pick is going to be uh, Zach Wilson when uh, after Trevor Lawrence is off the board with Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, my thoughts are good luck, Zach. Um, the Jets, I being it's, I said it's extremely tough being a fan of this franchise, but they have not been kind to quarterbacks. So my, uh, all I can say is good luck. And I really hope Joe Douglas has a pulse on this team. He's done a great job collecting draft capital. Now he needs to, um, you know, he needs to make these uh, wise decisions because if he does it right, we can be competitive this year and, uh, a playoff team next year, um, but he's got to hit on these draft picks. He's got to do his homework. I mean, he did it. He always said he wants to build through the draft. He wants to build through the draft. He traded Jamal Adams. He traded Sam Donald. Uh, he traded Leonard Williams to get all this draft capital. Now he's got to show. You know, he's he's got to earn that six year contract, and he's got to break the cycle of bad decisions. Um, it's on him. He's uh, any GM would love to be in this position. He's got carte blanche in this draft. And we may have finally found the right coach that players will uh, buy into uh, after that moron Adam Gase um, was here for the last couple of years. But uh, Robert Sala seems to be change, uh, good about changing the culture. We'll see once after the draft and once the players, uh, once the season starts. But anyways, round one thoughts tonight. It's definitely, I think it's it's 96% certain it's going to be Zach Wilson, 4% chance it's going to be Justin Fields. Um, I'm all for it, but we got, I really, 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 really want offensive line um, help because, and, uh, and I think we'll probably get Brian Hoyer after the draft to be the backup mentor for Zach Wilson. Um, uh, but we ruined Arnold's career. We ruined Sanchez's career. We ruined a lot of other quarterbacks' careers. Um, you know, Gino's career because we couldn't protect the quarterback and we did just didn't know what to what to what to do to build around him. That's got to stop now. I mean, Donald was here three years, didn't work out mainly because of the coach and his injuries. But um, you have to start fresh again. Zach Wilson's the pick, and with the twenty third overall pick, um, unless we trade up, which I'm hearing we might. I don't know if I how I feel about that. I don't want to give up too much. If we do trade up, I think it's going to be because Elijah Vera Tucker, guard from USC, will be on the board. And if he's there and it, it doesn't cost us too much, fine, go get him because he's the, because he's the best guard in the draft. And I actually – I'm hoping he just slips to us at 23. I don't think he's going to slip. If we want him and he's falling a bit, and like I said, it doesn't cost us too much of a pretty penny, then, yeah, it, that's the one guy I'd like to move up for is Elijah Vera Tucker. Um, but assuming we don't trade up and we stay with a 23rd overall pick in the draft, I'd be okay with Creed Humphrey. I'd be okay with Tevin Jenkins. And like I said, I'm, I'm doing backflips if Elijah Vera Tucker's sitting there, but I'm not anticipating that. That's probably wishful thinking. He's probably going to go 14, 15, 16, maybe at the latest. But you never know. But that's my number one target with Creed Humphrey and Tevin Jenkins kind of being the other guys there. Although Creed Humphrey may still be there with the 34th overall pick. I don't know. Um, but if we decide to go defense with that 23rd pick, we better go offensive line with the 34th pick. But... Those are my ideal targets at 23, and if it if, if Sala insists on getting a defensive piece with the 23rd pick, hopefully it'd be a corner like Greg Newsom or um, although I know I know he's got injury concerns, but Caleb Farley, 
um, would, would be it would be a good would be a good option a good pick. Although I think Newsom will be sitting there twenty third if they want to go cornerback route. I guess that's not horrible. Um, and also I'm trying to think of of his name. Um, the 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 pass rusher I've seen uh, in mock drafts from my from from the Miami Hurricanes. Um, blanking on his name, but uh, somebody like that um, wouldn't wouldn't be wouldn't be horrible. Um, I'll have to look up his name after I make this video, but basically an edge rusher or corner. Okay. Cause I know those are needs as well. And I know that if you draft an edge, uh, with Vinnie Curry backing up, you would have a quite a dynamite D line. Uh, so at least there's that, but I still think you gotta, you gotta get the offensive line help. Um, and you know, and part of me says double down. I, I that's to me, I, I know cornerbacks a need, but. I really want to see a guard with with the 23rd pick or if not the 34th pick at the absolute latest like I said or even both and then get the 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 cornerback and edge help in the third round but anyways that's my thoughts um I'm excited uh this is the only time of the year Jeff fans can get excited but I really do hope this is the beginning of a turnaround and 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 good things moving forward cuz it's been enough it's it's been torturous with this franchise for a long time but um I'll leave it at that and have a good day everybody